OMG industry of Paris. Paris is the most easily recognized as the city of love. But isn't it fascinating that a place filled with love at every corner you look has a very intriguing history? Join me as we journey along the history. The earliest evidence for human habitation in what is now the city of Paris dates from about 700 and 7600 BCE. By the end of the 3rd century BCE, a settlement had been built on the Ile de la City. Ile de la City was inhabited by a Gallic tribe known as the Parsi. The first recorded name for the settlement was Lutetia. When the Romans arrived, the Parsi were sufficiently organized and wealthy to have their own gold coinage. In the first century CE, Lutetia grew as a Roman town and spread to the left bank of the Seine River. A series of barbarian invasions began in the late second century. The town on the left bank was destroyed by the mid third century. The inhabitants took refuge on this island, around which they built a thick stone wall. From the early fourth century, this place became known as Paris. By this time, Christianity was spread to Paris. By the end of the 5th century, the Salian Franks under Clovis had captured Paris from the Gauls, making it their own capital. The Salian Franks were a northwestern suburb group of Germans. It remained the capital until the end of Chilperic's reign in 584, but the succeeding people made elsewhere the capital. Charlemagne's dynasty, the Carolingians, tended to leave the city in the, in the charge of the Counts of Paris, who in many cases had less control over administration than did the bishops. After the election, Hook Capet, a Count of Paris, came to the throne in 1987. Paris became a capitation capital and became more important. The population and the commerce of Paris increased the gradual return of political stability and public order under the Capetian kings. During the reign of Philip II, which is um, 1179 to 1223, Paris was extensively improved. In the 14th century, the development of Paris was hindered not only by the Black Death, but also by the Hundred Years' War. The provost of the merchants in 1356 was Etienne Marcel, who wanted a Paris as rich and free as the independent cities of the Low Countries. He took over the city. Marcel showed great executive skill and equally great political stupidity and aligned himself with the revolting political enemies. While going to open the city gates to the Navarrese in 13. 58, Marcel was slain by the citizens. Simon Caboche momentarily seized power. The resumption of the Hundred Years' War by the English in 1415 made matters worse. After the revolt of the Parisians in, 18, in 1418, the Burgundians occupied Paris. The Anglo Burgundian Alliance in 1419 was followed by the installation of John. Plantagenet, Duke of Bedford, as regent of France for the king, English king Henry, Henry VI in 1422. Only in 1436 did it fall to the legitimists, who welcomed Charles VII in person in 1437. Successive disturbances had reduced the population, but the Anglo-French truce of 1444 allowed Charles to begin restoring prosperity. This was a period of intellectual stagnation. The influence of this Italian Renaissance started to appear in architecture. Francis I returned the chief seat of royalty to Paris. The population increased and the town expanded again. Rigorous measures were taken to stamp out Protestantism, which first appeared in Paris during Francis I's reign. The Renaissance in Paris culminated with Henry II, who made a solemn entry into the capital in 1549. The new impulse given to the building mansions began to transform Paris from a medieval to a modern city. 
In mid 16th century, the war of religion broke out in France between Roman Catholics and Huguenots. In Louis Louis the Eleventh's reign, Paris expanded farther. The War of the Fronde was the major event of the first two decades. In 1702, the Marquis de Anderson, who, as a Lieutenant General of Police, succeeded the Provost of Paris, raised the number of districts from 16 to 20. During the 18th century, a great deal was done to improve the improve and beautify Paris. The French Revolution of the 19 After 1789, destroyed the system that had remained in Paris and consolidated the status of Paris as the capital of a centralized France. The major events of the revolution that took place in Paris: number one, the storming of Bastille; number two, the conveying of the king and the National Constituent Assembly from Versailles to Paris; the establishment of numerous clubs in the convents of old religious order, and the execution of the king. in the palais de la revolution after the inauguration of the first empire napoleon in 1806 ordered the tri- triumphal arches of the carousel and of the etoile to be erected while the neoclassical style recalled imperial rome the great works of public utility served to modernize france and paris industrialization in progress in the napoleonic period advanced rapidly but overpopulation and rapid industrialization had brought squalor and misery napoleon the 3rd emperor from 1852 to 1870 asked baron hausmann to remedy these problems hausmann was the creator of modern paris he planned the city on a grand scale The brilliance and prosperity of Paris under Napoleon III were exemplified in the exhibitions held there in 1855 and 1867. The Franco-German War, which brought the fall of the Second Empire and the siege of Paris, was followed by the Commune protest. Under the Third Republic, Hausmann's projects were continued. During the German occupation of Paris in World War II, the city was only slightly damaged thanks to Hausmann's new constructions. It was a center for the activities of the resistance movement, which culminated in the liberation of the city in August 8, 1944. The immediate, immediate post-war years were a time of eager intellectual activity, but also of poverty and social tension. The housing shortage was grave. The psychological scars of the German occupation were slow to heal, and the colonial wars and political instability lowered morale. Conditions gradually improved, especially after Charles de Gaulle returned to power in 1958. The city's economy improved. Old buildings and neighborhoods were cleaned up and renovated, and housing and commercial space were built. In May 1968, Paris was rocked by a nationwide outbreak of labor strikes and protests. Attention was focused on Paris's economic and social problems, and the uprising was later seen as useful in hastening the modernization of French society. During the last decades of the 20th century, several new de- developments bolstered the cultural and economic position of Paris. During the late 20th century, Paris attracted thousands of migrants. They contributed to the city's economy and cultural diversity, but high unemployment and limited social and economic mobility in the cities fueled frustration that sometimes led to violence. In October 2005, riots swept the Paris suburbs before spreading to the rest of the country, and weeks before weeks passed before order could be restored. Concerns about the potential radicalization of Muslim youth in the suburbs increased in the wake of a series of Islamist terrorist attacks in 2015. At least 130 people were killed in Europe's bloodiest terrorist attack, and officials in Paris struggled to find a balance between security and liberty. Despite those challenges, the increasingly cosmopolitan character of Paris reinforced its place as one of the greatest metropolises in the world. That's how Paris became. what it is now